Hello everyone, and I'm Autobot Sonic at Telltale Gamer, bringing Lace and the Ring, Telltale Games, Transformers, and more. So, here we are with the penultimate episode of Transformers Cyberverse Season 2, Power to Spark, with Episode 17, Perfect Storm, and this time, we've got an episode focused on a pair of characters I did not expect at all, and that is RC and Grimlock. Now, Grimlock we've seen get quite a few spotlights throughout this season, and even back in Season 1, but we've never had an episode spotlighted on RC, who we've really only seen in a few flashbacks or like non-speaking roles throughout the entirety of the series. Her biggest role before this was back in um, The Visitor, when she helped Bumblebee to learn um figure out what Cheetor was, and I gotta say, this episode really makes me love RC's character in Cyberverse, and I hopefully means that we'll get to see more of her either in next episode in the season finale or at least in seasons three and four because I am absolutely loving her character but I do wish there was just more of her to do in this episode that that just we need more of her honestly so we're gonna go ahead and see if I said right and what I did wrong so this episode starts off presumably it appears to be like roughly a month and a half or so after the events of the last two episodes ghost town and wiped out Basically, just literally nothing has been happening on the road to Cybertron, and everyone is just absolutely bored out of their minds, including Grimlock and RC, who are the focus of our, um, this episode. So Grimlock and RC decide to go ahead and just sneak out on outside the Ark on a little shuttle ride for the rest of the day, since no one else is doing anything. And when they come back, though, they find that the entire Ark has been shut down, and everyone is frozen in a stasis lock of sorts caused by, presumably, some sort of power... Um, energy wave that happened from a nebula they were crossing through, hence the name of this episode, Perfect Storm. And the episode basically revolves around Grimlock and RC just trying to protect the Ark from a various wave of calamities that befall it, starting off with a herd of, I believe they're called Windhammers, that are these basically these, these robotic shark bird-like things that are known to have the strongest like skulls in the universe and can pierce through anything. So at first they see them approaching the Ark getting ready to smash into it, but which is going to be a problem because the Ark doesn't have any shields on because it has no power. So RC and Grimlock decide to get the, um, the Windhammers away by having RC paint a shuttle disguised as a Windhammer and leading it away from the Ark. And that works, but that leads to a Comet Storm that ends up pelting the Ark with various Comets. So to protect that, they end up going then and shoot and going onto the deck of the arc and just blasting at every single comet they see with machine guns and i gotta say it's honestly great to see more of rc she's really sells the episode this much i think saskia marks is the voice actress of rc and she absolutely kills it as her i hope we get to see a lot more of her in seasons three and four because i am absolutely loving her and i hope she's this isn't just a one-time throwaway thing with her because i'm having such a Fun. Honestly, she was so much more fun in this episode than Grimlock. Not saying that Grimlock was horrible, it's just because that we've seen Grimlock so much over this season that it's nice to see like a fresh face in the form of RC. But anyway, once they deal with the Comet Storm, they then realize that they've also got to deal with a Supernova now uh, were now endangering the Ark, and the only way they can save the Ark this time now is if they get the shields back up. So with the generators, with the power out for the, for the Ark, RC and Grimlock decide they want to try to use the AllSpark to restart the arc, but the only way you can do that is with Cheetor, so because he's apparently the only one that can use the AllSpark, which is a little bit odd considering we've seen both Windblade and Starscream use it. We just saw Windblade use it in the last episode, and Starscream used it all the time back in the, early, the Starscream arc of this season, so maybe it's just because to Grimlock and RC who haven't been on any missions with Windblade and, or Starscream, they think that Cheetor is the only one who can use the AllSpark, maybe? I don't know. So they end up taking Cheetor's frozen body to where the AllSpark is being held on the Ark and try basically just smashing him into the AllSpark to try and get it to activate, but it doesn't work, obviously. So instead, they opt to go ahead and try to restart the um, the engine for the Ark by having RC basically use up her own spark as a power source, but Grimlock is against this, this wanting to be the one who ends up sacrificing himself instead. So essentially we get an endgame situation here where RC and Grimlock are just fighting each other for the next like two minutes just trying to figure like trying to make sure which one of them is going to end up sacrificing themselves to start the to restart the arc and it's a little humorous scene here how they basically end up fighting with and around 
different Autobots that have been frozen on the Ark. Like we'd see at one point where RC and Grimlock have kind of made cover for themselves out of a bunch of generic Autobots that they've made that are frozen. And then even at one point their fight takes them into the, the hangar where Rack and Ruin have managed to once again complete a like a whole stack of energon crates which they knock down again as has been a recurring meme throughout this season so far which i absolutely love but as they're fighting they suddenly come across um teletran x who is just waiting outside and is not frozen when so when they let him in he explains that after the um the arc was shut down by the nebula teletran x was ejected from the arc and had to make his way back through all the wind hammers and comets and comet storms that RC and Grimlock had Mr. had redirected towards him. So he tells them that they need to restart the power to the arc, which they've been trying to do, only to find out that Teletran X can just do it manually without having to use another power source. So he restarts the shields on the arc, and everyone just wakes up like nothing happened. And that's pretty much how the episode ends. I know it's this seems like a really, really short review, but again, it's not much really to talk about. It was a pretty fun episode that gave us a lot of nuts nice stuff between RC and Grimlock and I do like that we got some backstory to how apparently RC and Grimlock have been really good friends since before the war for Cybertron I just wish we got to see more of this back in like seasons one and earlier this season just because the fact that this comes out of nowhere in a second last episode of the season just feels a little awkward to me and so that was my review of Transformer Cyberverse Season 2, Episode 17, Perfect Storm. If I had to rate this episode, I would give it a 9 out of 10. A great proper introduction to Arcee's character. Saskia Marks absolutely kills it as her. And the little humorous scenes here between her and Grimlock really help flesh out that they have a real friendship that, that definitely exists. The only thing is, I just wish we got to this relationship sooner because it just comes out of nowhere and in the second last episode of the season like why didn't we see any of this earlier on this season it just, just makes no sense but uh yeah i'm sorry for the the rather short review this time but there's just not much that really i can say about this episode other than this but that's gonna do this review i'll be back soon with the final episode of transformer cyber season 2 episode 18 crossroads if you like this review and can't wait for me to review the finale be sure to like comment and of course subscribe and i will see you guys later take it away bumblebee bumblebee out <laughs> And I might blow up your future But then you still control the past